Before we get started, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel or find us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. You know what I mean? It's, I mean, why not, right? Anyways, we're down here in the Florida Keys and we wanted to go fishing. It's pretty windy, so we decided to stay in shore where it was a little bit easier and go for yellowtail. A little rainy today and windy. See if we can't catch some more bait before we go off for a yellowtail or mahi or something. We actually went out to the island to catch some live bait because we wanted to see how live bait would do. Normally we would just take pieces of hoagie, you know, of our chum or, or a little cut bait and send it back. But we wanted to throw a live bait back there. Then we headed out to the Atlantic side to catch some yellowtail. And it was pretty windy and we can only go like 10 miles an hour. So it was a real slow, rough ride out. But we get out there, put our anchor out. We're in shallower water because the current's still ripping it offshore around 50, 40, 50 feet. Trying new spots. And we put our chum out and um, we got a little bit of yellowtail action going on. You know, nothing real good, nothing to write home about. And while I got my line out there, all of a sudden something hits it. And when you, when you, you know, go fishing enough, you can generally tell how fish fight. You know, yellowtail and mangroves fight differently than a blue runner or a zero. It's not a yellowtail. It's a blue runner. Yeah. And this fish, he was staying high and like pulling some line. I'm like, man, I must have another zero. But it was kind of different. I wasn't sure. I could see him at the surface and he was going up to the front of the boat. And I'm fighting him. Might be a zero. Yeah, he's close. You're ready. Well, now it's a, it's a big needle fish. Like the size of that needle fish. I get him up to the boat, and it's a giant needle nose fish. I think is they're actually called houndfish. That was the biggest needle nose fish I'd ever seen in person. Biggest one I ever caught too. That is one huge. Needlefish. That is a needlefish right there. That's a big boy. Never seen one that big. Right, let's get them yellowtail, man. They're right there. See them? We keep on fishing. Then my dad catches one. And it's crazy. I, I've been going down the Keys for many years, and all of a sudden, just like that, we catch two giant houndfish. We see tons of you know, needle nose small ones like this, little baby ones, all while down in the Keys. It's pretty common. But this was the first year we got these two big needle nose. It may have been because we were in shallower water than normal. We usually been in deeper water, and this shallower water is probably holding different types of fish. I mean, it would make sense. It's not much shallower, but being inside the reef line, you know, for whatever reason, maybe that's why they were there. We caught some yellowtail, which was good. Uh, a lot of blue runners, you know, those guys come up a lot. Usually before the yellowtail and stuff like that, or at least closer, you know, you might have some fish, like I've had them right at the back of the boat. And they're fun fighters, really hard fish to fight. We had some difficulty with our uh, bait when we were yellowtail fishing, staying on the hook. Sometimes that stuff gets real mushy and, you know, just not brine good. It tends to want to come off. So sometimes you might want to take, you know, like a, some little bait fish you catch and cut them up while they're fresh so the hook will stay in better. You know, maybe some good cut bait or something like that. Or if you have live bait, live bait's a good option too. We gotta use that on some of our fish. And generally, you know, live bait will get eaten pretty quick. Oh, okay. Oh, 
top. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I got one out. This is not very far. Ah, dang it. Another blue runner. You know, that's one of the cool things about fishing. You never know what you're going to catch. Anything could pop up, really. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.